learn programming skills welcomes you to another command prompt tutorials in this video we are going to look at how to completely control command prompt window with the computer keyboard why this particular operation i had an encounter with a friend and i got to his office and when i got there i saw some frustration on his face and i asked why and he answered me that he is not feeling comfortable using the computer system because his computer mouse is not working properly and i felt for his frustration so i told him sorry for that and i also confronted him and told him that do you know it is possible to use this particular keyboard which is currently available as your input device to control every software or every operation on your computer system without the computer mouse and he said how and i said okay let me guide you on how to use this keyboard to control your softwares so in this video i'm going to show you how i completely guide my friend to use the computer keyboard to control command prompt initially he wanted to use command prompt to organize his files into specific folders on his computer system and because he was not having the mouse attached to the computer system which was currently not working properly he was totally frustrated on how to use the keyboard to do certain tasks on the computer system so in this video i'm going to show you clearly how i guided my friend to use the computer keyboard to control command prompt on the desktop background now this is my desktop let's assume that this is our friend's desktop background i'm going to show you two ways to open command prompt on this interface the first one is to hold the windows key and the letter r then you have this field type cmd then you hit the enter key this is going to open this command prompt on your windows interface and you can use this window to perform any other operation that you want to close this window you hold the alt key and the f4 now the second way to launch command prompt is to hold the windows key and the letter s this opens the search window of your windows interface and you can type cmd and when you do this you have the best match if you don't see the best match use your down and up arrow key to select the command prompt and hit the enter key and this also opens up command prompt interface on your desktop background now we have this window let's see how to adjust this particular window and the first one is how to maximize this window this window is in its restored form if you want to maximize this window to fully cover the desktop background you can use the windows key and the up arrow key and now we have this completely covering the desktop background if i want to restore it to its previous window and now we have this as the restored form of command prompt if i want to snag this to the right side so that i can perform some tasks on the desktop i can use windows and the right arrow key and now i have this window snap to the right side of this windows interface and if i have the desktop as my directory i can perform any other tasks in this particular section if i want to restore down windows left arrow key and if i want to snap to the left side windows left and now i have this window also snap to the left side of the windows interface you can see how we are moving this particular window completely with a keyboard without the mouse and i hope we are learning something new in this particular tutorial now if i hold the windows key and the down arrow key if i have this snap to the left side this moves this window and compress it to a mini form and if i press the windows and the down arrow key once again this minimize this window to the tax bar if i want to bring it back i can hold the alt key and the tab key and i'm going to select this command prompt and release if i press the windows and the up arrow key it brings it back to its previous look when it was snapped to the left side and if i want to restore windows right and this moves to the right side windows down and then this also snap this to the right side of this windows interface and when i use windows and the left arrow key i have this restored and this is how to manipulate this window with the computer keyboard now let's assume i want to move this particular window to a particular section of the windows interface i can hold the alt key space bar and the letter m and now i have this move icon of this pointer and when i use my right arrow key you can see that i'm moving this to the right side 
if i use the up arrow key i'm moving this to the up down and if you add the shift key to the arrow keys you can see that this is also moving this window in a faster mode and when you use the control key and the arrow keys it's moved this window in a slow motion as you can see so any of this operation the one that you prefer you can do that or you can use that to move your window on the desktop background and if you are satisfied at the position where this window is situated you press the enter key and that is going to take effect if i want to size this window i'll hold the alt key the space bar and the letter s and i have the arrow keys to adjust this window so if i use the up arrow key you can see that i'm moving this window to the upside that is i am adjusting it and if i use the down arrow key i'm bringing it down if i use the right arrow key i am expanding to the right and if i use the down arrow key i am collapsing this window and when i'm done with this effect i'm going to press the enter key alt space bar s if i want to adjust the left handle of this window i'll use the left arrow key and if i want to adjust to the down i'll use the down arrow key and you can see how i am adjusting this particular window using the computer keyboard and if this is the window that i want i'm going to press the enter key and that is going to take effect now if i hold the alt key the space bar and letter n this minimize this window to the desktop and if i hold the alt key the tab key i get all these open windows and when i select the command prompt i can release it and now i have this window fully opened on my desktop background if i hold the alt space bar and the letter x this maximize this window and if i want to restore i'll hold the alt space bar and letter r and this also restores this window so we are learning so many keyboard shortcuts in this particular tutorials i am going to snap this window to the right side and as usual windows and the right arrow key and i'm going to change this directory to the desktop and i'm going to create three folders and now you can see that i have created these folders on the desktop background using the command prompt and also solely the computer keyboard now i'm going to type some two commands in this particular window so i'm going to type the help command and also type the tax list command so now you can see that i have a lot of information displayed within the window of command prompt let's assume that i want to move or navigate to the beginning and end of this command prompt now i am currently at the end of this command prompt in this line of path if i want to move to the beginning i'm going to hold the control key and the home key and this moves me to the beginning of this command prompt and if i hold control end this brings me to the end of this command prompt so there's another way to navigate and also you can use the control key and the up arrow key if you are at the end of this command prompt window and this help you to scroll to find your commands in this window and if i use the control and the down arrow key this also moves or scroll down to navigate through this window so this is also another way to navigate through the command prompt window with its content now that i am in the end of this command prompt window in this line of path i can mark this line of path so that i can also scroll to navigate page by page within this window so if i hold ctrl plus m i've marked this command prompt window and you can see that on the title bar it says mark command prompt therefore if i hold the control key and the page up this is going to jump page by page and if i hold control and the page down this is going to navigate page by page in this particular window so to use the page down and the page up you need to mark your command prompt before you can use that shortcut so i'm going to move to the end you can also use the page up and page down without the control key and this also helps you to navigate through this particular window now i'm going to press the escape key to unlock this particular command and i'm going to move to the end control end 
and now i have all this content available now if i hold ctrl plus a twice this selects all the content in this window and if i want to select a portion or a content in this particular window i can use the shift key and the up arrow key and you can see that i'm selecting so let's assume that this is the selection that i want and i can use the left arrow key to select this area and also use the up arrow key to select apples so let's assume that this is what i want to select i can hit the enter key and this copies this into the clipboard of your computer system therefore when i hold ctrl plus v this is going to paste all this copied item into a different location i'm just illustrating this to you let's assume that you have some commands you want to select you can use this option to do that using the shift key and the arrow keys it helps you to select some command let me illustrate this to you in this line of path i have cd desktop if i want to select i can hold shift key and the left arrow key and that is going to select this command therefore when i hit the enter key i can paste this into a different line using ctrl plus v and i have this as my copied and pasted item so this is how to copy and paste option in command prompt window using the keyboard now i'm going to clear the system type in cls and i'm going to delete the folders that i've created now in this window let's assume that we have a lot of content in this particular window and we want to search for a specific item we can use ctrl plus f on the keyboard and this opens up the find dialog box and we have the find word field we can type whatever content we want to search for so i can type desktop and when i use my tab key i can select find next and when i hit enter this is going to select anywhere that match this type search when i press enter it's moved to the next one enter so if you have a lot of content in this window you can use this field to search for specific items easily without any stress so if i want to close this window i can press the escape key and that is going to close this particular window now previously i showed you if you want to close this window you can use the alt key and the f4 another way to close is to hold the alt space bar and the letter c and this also close this window from the desktop so we have totally used computer keyboard to control our command prompt in an easy way so this is how i guided my friend to use the computer keyboard to control this particular command prompt and i hope we've learned something in this video if so please give it a like share and also drop your comments in the comment section and we shall meet in our next tutorial